Hello. And welcome back. Or I guess welcome to something a little bit different. Today we are going to be checking out a new server called Ranch Roleplay. The server isn't actually a fully new server. It's been out for quite a while now, but has recently, I believe, released within the past couple months officially, and they've been working on it for quite a while now. So today I figured we would actually take a little bit of a look at Ranch Roleplay. I've heard a lot about this server. So today I figured we'd take a little look. I used to make a series a little while ago called Server Spotlight. I do want to bring that series back, uh, and this is not exactly going to be that. This is just going to be kind of just hopping on the server and checking it out as a brand new player for probably just like an hour or two maybe even three exploring the world and kind of just seeing how it feels i've really only played on gold rush rp so for a while now i've been wanting to check out some other servers and just kind of see how they feel see how a new player would experience the server and kind of just check it out now i have made a character a long time ago called billy bam i'm, I'm not sure when i made that character but we are going to create a new one as i don't remember anything uh we also got to join the of course team speak let me go do that Real quick all right we should be good if that uh let's just you know what zaviel is gonna hop in he's gonna travel across the lands and check out this place uh so we're gonna create zaviel as always this is gonna take a long time i might not get it exactly perfect as well i'm not sure if we're gonna be even doing a series on the server i just wanted to check it out we're probably gonna be sticking with gold rush i have some exciting news for that as well very soon um but let's uh, create this character it's gonna be a little bit of an off-brand zaviel let me make it real fast i'll be back in just a second or two all right so we're definitely getting there i just wanted to give a quick review of course of the character creation system it seems pretty good of course you can go up down you can rotate your character back and forth you can of course zoom in and out with control and shift it all seems pretty fluid all of the actual different sliders are super fast as well as we can see if we took the face with we can switch it anywhere and it you know obviously reacts pretty fast on the actual creator if we go back here obviously all of the stuff for the hair is pretty well done and if we go back a little bit more all the stuff for the actual character creation is pretty straightforward uh nothing too bad and no real issues i ran into while i was creating this character i mean this is probably going to be about it for zaviel let's see what else there also is aging scars freckles so all the usual stuff zaviel does have a little scar there so we will put that there there we go and then we should be able to hit next we obviously don't need any makeup and finish uh are you sure you are finished with your character creations for you may not be able to be modified once you proceed to make sure that we're all good with this character i mean it's pretty pretty damn close to zaviel i thought i did pretty good job at it to be honest but let's hit finish and then complete and let's see where it brings us after this now what i'm hoping is it brings us directly into a clothing store uh something currently on gold rush that i find a little weird is when you're creating a new character it will bring you just into the world naked i hope this actually brings you to a clothing selection menu but let's see it might just bring us right in game no it does bring us straight into an outfit creator i do like that i definitely like that uh we are going to make the usual outfit with zaviel but first of all let me actually take a look at this and see how the menu for this works as well so i think we can at the bottom here just like change or remove a bunch of different kinds of clothing so if we had a hat on i'm guessing down here yeah we can remove and toggle that so i'm gonna go find a hat go find a bunch of stuff for ourselves and uh we'll see how we do Alrighty, so just quickly as I am going through this, I have noticed that all of the hats are perfectly lined up. As you can see, all the different kinds of styles of hats are right next to each other. Uh, instead of having to go through two different categories, it's just one big one. But it seems like all the hats and their different variations are right next to each other, which definitely makes it convenient when scrolling through. Again, I'm probably not going to make the perfect exactly one-to-one Zaviel outfit, but I'm going to make some sort of outfit. See you guys when we're done, or uh, if I keep finding anything else that seems to be working quite nice, or, you know, not working too well. I'll just keep going through, and again, see you guys in a little bit. All right, to quickly correct myself, um, a couple minutes after saying that this system's a lot better, I honestly kind of prefer the category system with having kind of just like the hat, then having a separate category for all the different colors, because as you see, I can't find the correct hat, and uh, it's a little bit of a pain going through 966 different hats. You can also not scroll or anything, and obviously it doesn't automatically update as you scroll through. So it is a little bit of a pain trying to find just the right clothing item as of course you have to go through quite a lot of variations of the same one and it ends up being a lot of clicking but i found one that was similar uh we're also just going to go with a simple black bandana uh we're going to obviously get our shirt and everything together real fast as well but honestly the categories do make it a little bit easier and not having a category and having to scroll through like 400 500 600 different clothing items 
does get a little frustrating but again i'm going to finish making the character now that's pretty much all i have to say about the character creation it's definitely interesting uh definitely you know obviously once you get used to it going to be a lot easier but uh i could definitely use some work some categories would be nice being able to just sort them uh the different kinds of styles and then sorting the different kind of colors separately would definitely be optimal but uh again i'm gonna keep going through creating the rest of this outfit and i'll see you guys once we're done Alrighty, so worked on it a little bit more pretty much finished up still not happy with the hat we can find something different at some point we can say Zavil lost it on this little trip over here so we'll finish that up and there we go we should now be able to select Zavil Zamaro I don't see where our clothes are hopefully they are still good uh it's having us create our outfit again uh this just took me about 20 minutes so that's a little frustrating that is a uh, a little frustrating um that's actually very frustrating i'm not gonna lie uh starting off but hopefully we'll see how it goes from here let me spend another 20 minutes for making this outfit be right back 20 minutes later all righty so once again that should be all of it so let's hit next and then finish Are you finished with your outfit yes okay there we go hopefully that saved our outfit as well and where do we want to start uh again we're just gonna kind of be checking everything out and uh let's check i mean saint denis probably gonna usually has the most busyness has the most amount of different businesses in a small area that's probably gonna be the best part spot for us to start off and uh, have us explore some of the service features so spawn in there welcome to saint denis there we go as we can see at the bottom left we have a little hud uh, it does seem like it's b for inventory we can't move the inventory around or anything it's just in the middle of our screen uh we can do satchel crafting interesting we start off with a water flask as well as a book let's open this check it out uh it seems like we can actually do stuff in here so the story of zavil and then i guess we're able to write in here hello hello okay that's kind of interesting all right so just a little book you're able to carry around and it seems like it has a pretty good way to edit it nice little animation as well so let's take a look at the map see what we're able to do so over let's just take a look at the general map uh for just a quick second here so starting off it seems like up here is there anything actually up in culture i guess just a little stable spot let's check for all the main towns so first of all starting off in ansberg it seems like they have a little mine over there uh a gun store a tavern all the usual stuff boat rental telegram station etc etc uh we go down and as we can see all as well um i believe again it is in beta apparently according to the top right it says beta subject to change so again the server is apparently not fully released yet but still cool to check a little bit of a look on uh just the usual stuff it seems what's up here the secret garden interesting so let's check out some of the stuff that you would obviously check out as a new player number one if i was a new player heading on the server i'd go over to a general store and probably a bank as well to see how much money i have um so there's a general store right over here as it usually would be and they're next to a butcher so i think we're gonna probably head over there although i'm not sure how much money i have is there slash guy there's no menu we'll have to figure that out uh slash cash slash money neither one of them so i'm not sure how we actually check our money is it in our inventory it is okay so we have 50 dollars definitely decent uh it seems the wave is a little weird um i guess it's 16 kilograms so i'm not sure why it's typed out as 16,000. uh definitely interesting so let's go check out this general store real fast it should be right over here doesn't look like anything too custom yet oh there was a flyer over there let me see how their flyers look read bnb flyer uh need something to say to someone that might hate their feelings but don't get their time bad news bears will deliver the bad news okay interesting cool little flyer thing though let's go again check out the general store and see what's available there as that's kind of like the main spot that's different on every server but is always essential no matter which server you're on let's take a look at it all righty so this should be the general store go in here access westwood's general store all right let's just take a look what are we able to buy so it seems like a lot of stuff uh binoculars book bread empty bucket cabbage campfires some normal stuff cigarettes coffee beans sugar uh dice that's kind of interesting a harmonica honey a hunting knife just all the basic stuff smoking pipe syrup a tag i'm not sure what a tag is 
let's actually buy a useful to keep things organized let's actually buy one of those i'm kind of interested to see what that does uh wrapping paper yeast all oh, i guess there's a bunch of normal stuff um server schedule three starting in five minutes not the best time for us uh so i think what we're gonna do is probably buy that let me see if i can figure out how this tag thing works uh so tag yeah, i'm not sure not sure how this little thing works maybe it's just used to organize stuff in the inventory like have this as a placekeeper not sure what that's for exactly maybe we'll figure out at some point uh, it does seem like the server is going to restart though after the restart though i think what we're gonna do is probably head on over to the bank where we can check i guess how the banking system works again just kind of checking stuff out on the server it's not going to be a full in-depth review of every single feature they have but just you know a little bit of a look as to you know if you wanted to hop on the server what you would experience as a new player on it so uh, i'm gonna probably wait for the restart head over to the bank and then i will see you guys back once we are finally checking out the banking system over on ranch rp and of course how it works and we're back i do want to quickly say that the load in time and the load in screen is very clean definitely a fast one and literally pretty much instantly loaded in but let's go head up finally over at the bank now i've been wanting to check this out again just trying to check out all the different features on the server to be honest let's head on in here uh lemoyne national bank from what i'm guessing it sounds like maybe all your money is kept in different areas or maybe it's all one i'm not not too sure there's also what's up here cleo Breit. no idea what that is like i will look around a little bit more let's check out the bank though let's not get distracted too much check out the bank uh lemoyne national bank balance a hundred dollars okay so we just started off like 150 bucks it seems like we're able to deposit stuff here um it seems like maybe we can only have 12 different slots in our bank but again i'm not sure if these banks are shared all around the county we'll have to figure that out at some point uh but yeah let's grab our book let's grab our tag back um you know what? honestly we'll withdraw some money here let's just withdraw 50 bucks see how it works yeah pretty instant perfect all right we can also deposit i'm guessing just money and then what are loans uh you have no loans from the bank of monroe apply to a real estate office for mortgage loans okay that's kind of cool you can pay it off scriptly instead of having to just like pay it off with admins or something for loans it's actually quite nice did i see another poster in here oh here it is there's a little thing over here read echo bella's book drive seems like coffee of his volume one have afflicted by a curse elk chemistically turn the right this wrong free of charge yada yada okay interesting some little book drive thing going on what else is there around saint denis that we want to check out that looks interesting to us uh there's a jewelry place a gallery medical office printing press okay that sounds interesting also do want to check out the gun store see what we're able to get as a new player on the server maybe like a cattleman or something gonna try and check out some of those prices but see over here what this little uh printing press is maybe we're able to print out like little posters instead of just posting them as a scene that honestly be pretty cool let's take a look again it should be this building here uh read we want you take we want you all right well i guess we'll read this uh join the run mo okay it's just an ad for rangers interesting can we actually go in here these seem to just be all little things uh enter here we go printing press take a look definitely a cool little interior uh St. Denis medical office wait a second did I go in the wrong building somehow I ended up in the medical office so I think I went into the wrong one but might as well check this out while we're here my bandages as well as a medical kit let's just buy some bandages let's buy three of those oh yeah three of those definitely a pretty clean system as well for the uh, inventory there we go three bandages what else is there in here is that pretty much it I'm guessing I'm guessing there's like some doctor's offices that we're not supposed to go into stuff like that uh let's exit out of here though i want to try and figure out where this printing press place is although we were right on it so a little confused uh job printing this should be right here doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it again this is probably going to be the same thing you have to join the monroe rangers is there an actual way to get into this building here we go printing press i can't believe i missed the first door okay so this is just to create poster so we can create a poster with a title and a url okay so posters are actually stuff you're bought and physically placed instead of just doing like a command for it definitely interesting bye already we're just looking around man oh okay i just saw you pushing into doors so <laughs> nobody's trying to find sure the right way <laughs> all right we have uh, new little new around here is there anything you recommend me chicken out uh get yourself a decent horse and oh, aside from that uh be careful traveling at night lots of people like to rob people at night oh. all right all right uh, i almost would a starting horse to cost me depends on which one you want to get 
Uh, my starting horse was about a hundred dollars. Okay, okay. And can I just purchase one of those from the stables, or would I have to find yep. a boat for later? Okay. Yeah, you can go down okay. to a stable. All right, perfect. Let's say if, uh, if you don't feel like spending that much, I believe they're, I think, a saddler, Kentucky saddler. They're about 40. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And they're not, they're not exactly great, but they're not exactly awful either, so. All right, thank you very much. I'm, I'm going to have a look, a little look around town, and then I'll go grab myself a horse. Thank you all very much for the help. Yeah, not a problem. Right, not a problem. All right, y'all stay safe. safe. Wait, wait. Yep, yeah, you too. All right, get him a little help. It seems like the horses sound to be uh, quite cheap on the server. Again, they said 40 bucks for a Kentucky Saddler. It's quite interesting. Let's uh, have a look at the gun store. Or not. Uh, missing person and Graham Butlery service. Okay, interesting. But I'm guessing this place does not, not look open. So I'm guessing the gun store ain't open. So maybe you can only buy from players. That'd actually be kind of interesting. Seems like, again, the gun store might have to only be player run. Doesn't seem like there's actually anyone in there or is there any way to get in there um, and buy it from an NPC or something, which is definitely interesting. Uh, definitely a change of pace. I wish you were able to kind of just purchase, you know, the starting weapons from the gun store without having to, of course, talk to someone. But uh, I guess if they're trying to encourage RP, it does make sense. But I think what we're going to do next is, as they said, go get ourselves a horse over at the saint denis stable so let's head on over there check out some of the prices of these horses and hopefully pick one up for ourselves again we got about what do we have about 93 bucks so we should have enough money it sounds like to get one let's head on over there and again check out some of these prices all righty over here also something i noticed on the way over is that you actually get an indicator whether your quote-unquote friendly face whether you're you know unable to do pvp or not is on in the bottom left so you can see by the two guns going red or not actually super convenient definitely just lets you know if you're actually going to choke someone out after selling them a shotgun or something like that uh something i also noticed is there's no locals around really um at least at all of the different stables and stores and then in general there's really like I've almost seen, I think, almost no locals around, which is definitely a little weird. Um, it is nice having something here just to make it feel like you're actually interacting with someone. But uh, cool either way. Check out the St. Denis Stables. Make it the St. Denis Stables. You can purchase, retrieve, and customize your horses here. So let's purchase a horse. All right. So it seems like there's a couple different ones. Again, none of these seem too expensive. They all seem pretty well priced. None of them seem too, like, hard to get which I like and both don't like. I do like there being some more rare horses that are very hard to get, but it seems you can purchase pretty much almost anything off the go just from spawning in. Um, I'm guessing and I'm hoping that uh, the rare breeds are a lot harder to get and can only be got by like, let's say trainers or breeders or such. That'd be cool. I actually really like this black Tennessee Walker though. Uh, yeah, we can do a stallion. And yeah, the black one's probably gonna be the coolest to be honest for 50 bucks, not too bad of a deal. Let's go ahead, purchase that. Uh, we'll name it Charcoal. Why not? And purchase. There we go. And you can purchase, retrieve, and customize your horses. So how do we now retrieve our horse is what I'm trying to figure out. Here we go. Charcoal. Let's do... Let's actually check out how the customization works for horses. Uh, this is one aspect that kind of annoys me on Gold Rush. So let's see how they do it here. Seems like we can change the main. Oh, it's just only two options. That is why... Uh, maybe we're also able to buy tack for it in a different way. Let me take a look here. So charcoal tack. Here we go. All right. So it's just like a pretty basic system for having to do all this. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, it seems like pretty much the same system as on most servers from what I've seen. Wow, we actually got like a super good setup with just this. Although I don't think we have enough money to actually finish it. Yeah, we can't afford that just by a couple bucks. Um, You know what? Let's uh, let's grab out our horse. You know, what? we don't need a saddle for now. We are fine. Let's grab out our horse, though. I think we're going to go check out another town, see if we can run into some people. Um, wow, they have, like, a little private investigator's place here as well. Anything last things we wanted to check out in St. Denis? I mean, we accidentally checked out the medical office. The gallery thing, the gallery, how day gallery, might be kind of cool to check out as well. A little farm stall, soup kitchen, a fight club. That might be cool as well. The barber shop, the clothing store. I'm guessing this is for some sort of sheriff's office, a courthouse. Um, you know what? Let's go have a look at what sounds interesting. Honestly, this gallery thing kind of has got me interested. I'm curious if it's like different paintings of maybe different people around the server or what exactly it is. I also have no idea where our horse came out. Let's go find our horse real quick. It sounded like it was over here. 
possibly there we are there's our horse um let's check out the horse menu as well is there anything we can access uh so show info which doesn't do anything yeah so i'm not sure if the horses have age on here i'm guessing not as we actually don't have an age for this horse so i'm guessing there's no ages um which is definitely interesting again i'm just assuming this i don't know it for sure but at least there isn't like a super in your face thing to tell you how old your horse is so i'm guessing they live forever which is honestly not my favorite thing i think having the horses die off over time definitely leads to a much healthier economy since people have to keep buying and selling creating new jobs and new people for new horses of course to be able to have you buy them uh, but either way again the server's still in beta but uh let's go have a look over at that gallery and check it out also noticing there's no map at all or no mini map which honestly is quite clean i, I like it quite a little bit but uh let's head over again to the gallery check what that's all about hopefully it's not locked all right i believe the spot should be right over here let's hitch our horse double check yeah the gallery should be right in front of us the how day gallery let's have a little look honestly it seems like there's some cool like small little features on the server for sure is it up here okay this is cool i'm not sure this is here by default but still a cool little thing again there is no third eye on the server even though i keep trying to do it again unfortunately seems like it's locked it seems like a lot of these businesses if there's not someone running them you're actually not able to do anything with which i kind of understand again they're trying to push rp but it would be nice if stuff like the gun store was able to be open for new players and such if there aren't anyone around to run it that you're able to of course you know purchase something to at least protect yourself but it didn't seem like it um i think what we're gonna do is head over to a different town roads i want to see if the gun store thing is the same in all towns or maybe it's just saint denis because uh, i think it's quite a disadvantage not being able to buy at least like a cattleman or something for yourself as a player either way let's head on over to roads check out the gun store as well as check out the banking system a little bit more and over in roads we are before we head more into town let's take another little overview of the town so we have a little liquor place here a stable the usual medical thing oh a bakery interesting a little forge a parlor house a general store as usual and all the other basic stuff um i kind of want to check out what this parlor house is see if there's anything interesting in here although again i'm worried that with it seems everything else if there's not someone running it it's usually locked let's have a look Oh, there is someone here or maybe not it's just open it doesn't seem like anyone work right now uh to keep in mind for this video i am playing during some of the uh lower populated hours the server does pick up quite a bit during the uh later hours i believe it gets full i'll have to uh double check how many players can play on the server i think it's 200 and something i could be wrong i'll put it on screen now whatever max amount of players are on but it usually seems to fill up um i tried actually last night to record this video but the server was full with a little bit of a queue not a horrible queue though it seems the queue only goes up to 20 and honestly if i wanted to it seemed like i was moving through that queue quite fast but uh either way let's check out the bank and this is again what i'm very curious is if your money and items do transfer over i should have put like an item or something in saint denis but i'm pretty sure the money will just say so like it doesn't look like too many people in the town unfortunately i believe as i'm playing there are around i think 160 170 people so i'm not sure what the real hot spots are it does seem okay so our money does transfer okay that is good to know it seems like the money does transfer throughout the different towns which uh, honestly after playing on gold rush with it kind of stuck to one town i'm still not sure which system i like more they definitely both have their ups and downs um i figured we'd also check into the general store here just see if it's just the same items again it doesn't really seem like they have many locals on their server There's like a couple people coming into town see if we get robbed by them uh but i'm guessing all the same stuff is going to be here yeah it seems like all the same stuff from the previous store definitely interesting though let's head out and are we gonna get robbed by these folk doesn't seem like it let's see what the gun store is looking like oh well, it looks like we're actually able to purchase from the county here which is quite nice all right let's see what we can get okay oh wow okay so you actually can get quite a bit from this um little sling here instead of just getting a cattleman we can actually get a double action revolver we can get a double barrel shotgun we can get a carbine repeater the carbine repeater 
Wow, um, I don't think I've ever actually had that gun on Gold Rush. It's like a $7,000 gun over there. So I'm actually going to buy that just because, you know, I'm not actually able to ever use one of those. So let's buy one of those. Let's also buy some ammo. I've noticed uh, it does seem like everything is very cheap on the server. So I'm not sure how the economy actually is once you get out of kind of the starter phase. Like once you get through your little 150 bucks you start out with, how hard it is to make money. But it does seem so far that uh, it doesn't seem too hard economy wise again we literally just bought ourselves a repeater although i'm not sure oh we just drag it into our hot bar okay that's actually quite nice i'm not sure how we load this so let's pull out the carbine and yeah how do we load this up now can we just drag it onto our hot bar as well doesn't seem like it okay it does seem like this has some ammo let's head out of town a little bit test this out all right again the hopper system is quite nice it seems to be quite fluid like pretty much instantly and put away and take out stuff so there's no tab menu it's just all done for this one two three four five. Ooh, and there are no crosshairs which honestly i like now i know people will definitely abuse it and use third-party software but i do like having no crosshairs it does make the firefights feel a lot more drawn out but uh let's test out this carbine real quick all right, so how do we reload it? Let's, let's go for all the rounds. There we go. So how do we reload this thing now is what I'm confused about. So, okay, so we buy individual ammo, it seems, from the store, and that was what was getting used in the gun. Okay, so ammo is... Wow, ammo is quite expensive. I thought we were buying, like, little boxes of ammo. It seems like each one of those 30 cents was just one shot. So it seems like the guns aren't too expensive, but literally for 30 shot or for 10 shots, that's about three bucks. So, you know, 100 shots obviously is going to be 30 bucks, pretty much as much as a gun costs. So it seems like the prices can definitely have a little bit worked on, in my opinion. I think some of them should be a little bit higher. I'm not sure, again, what the actual weapons you're able to get from a gunsmith is um, from the actual player that runs it. But definitely some quite interesting prices with the guns being so cheap and the ammo being seemingly quite a bit expensive. Again, for one shot being 30 cents, quite expensive up there. But let's grab a little bit more ammo while we're back in roads, just so we have some. Although we only have about seven bucks on us. Definitely grab a little bit more ammo over here. Again, very interesting that it does sell it one once each. Doesn't seem like we can buy a pack of it or anything. It just seems like we're only able to buy the actual ammo. Uh, we can actually right here, which is quite nice. So let's buy like 20 rounds. Again, that's $6. It seems a little weird for the pricing again, but you know, we'll get used to it eventually. Yeah, definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. We pretty much paid the price of a Cattleman Revolver for just 20 shots of ammo. Definitely a little weird ammo system in my opinion. I'm having it all kind of just be like that instead of like loading it up into the gun. But definitely a unique one i don't hate it i don't hate it i feel like it just take a little bit of time to get used to of course also um the little inventory for the horse seems to be quite convenient as well as we can see it seems like we can also take off the saddle and tack setups pretty easily which is also quite nice and obviously having the uh, horse system so easy like this definitely makes it quite convenient instead of having to get off the horse and check the inventory just having to hit b and being able to drag and put stuff on it seems pretty instant as well me about it for like roads i mean let's see around the map i do want to see if there's anything like super unique to the server i wanted to check out let me just have a look around and take a look i have noticed that it does seem like there is a lot of player run businesses as we can see here we have evie's bookshop we have western tobacco dotty's general store uh bavarian brewery it does seem a uh, my eats eatery it seems like they try and base a lot of their businesses off people actually owning it again like blackout and private investigations the travel there's workshop saint denis soup kitchen that might be something more public the tipsy gypsy um lee leon like it seems like a lot of stuff is owned by players which i do like and stuff's a lot player run which definitely is interesting a mine over here again in tumbleweed little town in tumbleweed as well again i'm not seeing anything too crazy that i haven't seen before silver dollar pawn little pawn shop a uh, little butcher over there a little fishing area so I mean, we bought it. We got to kind of test out. I'm very curious to what, you know, kind of money makes. And the best way to test it out is pretty much the same job you'd do on any Western server, any Red Dead server, I mean. That is starting off hunting. So we got our Lich Field with about, uh, I think, seven or six dollars worth of ammo. So about 20 rounds. Let's grab a little bit more money and we should be able to purchase ourselves a knife. I think I saw that in the general store. So let's grab out, you know, let's just grab out the rest of our money. Why not? There we go. 51 bucks on us. Let's run on over to the general store. Hopefully no one steals our horse or our horse doesn't run away. Should just be able to quickly buy this knife and get out of here. 
So let's quickly get, I think I saw it in here, a hunting knife for $7.50. There we go. And now we should be able to go hunt. Uh, I'm guessing we bring this as well onto our hotbar. Something I did want to see though, is I'm guessing if we remove this from our hotbar, it goes off our back. Yes, it does. Okay, so it's super easy to actually equip stuff onto your character that way, which is quite nice. But let's go out. And again, I really want to see how much money you make from like hunting. That's like the most basic job on pretty much any server. And that will kind of give us an idea of how the economy around here works. So let's go find ourselves some animals, do a bit of hunting and uh, test out and get a little bit of an idea for the economy on the server. Once you've you know spent your first little cash as a starting player, how the economy feels so let's go find some uh some stuff to hunt and i will see you guys once we're doing that all right got ourselves another deer having to get used to this inventory system with the two like the hot bar and such definitely not used to it uh for some reason not able to pull out our rifle by hitting two don't want to lose this deer so maybe if we bring it out of our inventory bring it back in there we go let's try and get this right there we go Hopefully that's it. There we go. Just one shot. Definitely a cool weapon to have. Again, we've never used one on Gold Rush. So definitely cool to have one of these. So skin this up. And this is just one buck, but it'll give us a good idea of how much, you know, every deer is worth. And if it takes out like five, six shots, you know, that's a dollar or two. Should at least be getting that back, if not quite a little bit more from these. So let's skin this up, though. See what we get, first of all. There we go. Three raw venison, a buck fur, and an antler. So... Let's see. Actually, are we able to do anything with this? I think we can just leave it there for now, honestly. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll... Okay, never mind. It disappeared. So, now let's head over to Blackwater. We're going to test how much you get just for one buck. Just as a little bit of a test run. There should be, like, a hunting stall. Something here as well, I'm guessing. Butcher, there we go. So, let's head on over to Blackwater. Not sure if I'm doing markers when there's no map. But let's head over to Blackwater and see if we can actually get anything from this deer. Again, I see a horse every once in a while, but overall... It really seemed like there's not too much wildlife. I saw almost no locals on the road as I was going, and I guess you really don't miss those things until you don't have them. Uh, it feels a lot less lively, in my opinion, not even due to the players. I've seen quite a couple players all around, but due to not having any locals around, it really just feels a little bit, you know, less lively around. But uh, either way, let's head into Blackwater, see if we can head over to that butcher stall and see again what we get from this deer. Another thing real quick I wanted to mention about the horses is it seems like there is no levels, there's no training. Um, so once you get your horse, it is, you know, just your horse fully already done. Everything's all good on it, which I'm not sure if I like. I kind of like on Gold Rush how you have to have someone kind of train up your horse just as another level of RP. Again, it's still in beta, so then we might see like something like that in the future. But getting a little distracted, trying to head over to, of course, the Butcher's Market. Honestly, to give kind of like an overview of the service so far, it seems pretty good, pretty fluid. Um, although with it being in beta, I'm guessing a lot of the stuff subject to change. I'm not the biggest fan of the horses thing. I'd rather than be more of a goal to look for. It's maybe one or two affordable ones instead of a bunch of them. Pretty much all be affordable right at the start. The weapons seem a little weird as well, um, as you seem to be able to get some pretty high weaponry from not even, you know, really interacting with any players, um, which again is a good and a bad thing. But let's head over to this stall and see what we get. Again, we hunted one deer, so it's just going to be a small test. So sell goods and sell all for $1.65. Okay. Dollar sixty-five. So okay, what what is our horse doing? Honestly, the server like overall it does feel nice. Um, I kind of like the hop bar thing. It's cool being able to just pull stuff out like that, not having to go for the weird tab menu. That is a little glitchy sometimes for sure. Overall, you know, of course the horses. I think they could do a little bit more with. Um, I think having some sort of training system as well as an aging system will add a lot both to the economy as well as RP. Just having to force players to interact with other players. Um, from what it sounded like when we were talking to the two people in Saint. To need. It doesn't sound like too many people sell horses, so I'm not even sure if that is a thing. But yeah, honestly, I think if we're just kind of checking out Ranch RP at a first look, I think that's going to be about it. Again, I realize that I don't go super in-depth with these videos. This is, again, just supposed to be like a little two, three, four hour thing of me heading around the server, kind of getting a feel for how the server feels. And from what I feel, I'm just going to give a little brief overview of the server. Um, it seems to be pretty well script-wise. I haven't ran into any bugs of any of the scripts. All of them seem very clean. Uh, the economy-wise, I believe it could use a little bit of work um it seems like some kind of money at least doesn't have the same feel uh, after i spent kind of that 150 to start um it doesn't seem like it's very easy to get too much money back oh there's a cool little training range here 
definitely some cool stuff um but again i think the economy can use a little work on again i don't have too much obviously knowledge or actual play time on the server so i can't say too much about it but just from my first glance it seems like the ammo is kind of priced a little weirdly as well as the weapons um, the weapons seem very cheap in relation to how expensive the ammo actually seems um obviously i don't know the weapons degrade I'm not sure if weapons degrade, but it kind of seems like there's not too many money sinks in the server. So it seems like a lot of people are spending money, but it doesn't seem like actually um, people are going to have to spend money over and over again. For instance, I just got a horse for like, what, 60, 70 bucks, but I will never need a new horse. That is 60, 70 bucks that is just gone. And um, I'm never going to obviously have to purchase another one again. So that just allows me to have a lot more money for a lot more stuff, which is cool. But it also adds to that uh, the feeling of money is going to obviously feel a lot less meaningful as uh you know you don't need it for your everyday things you don't need to be working for money which i guess is good you know it seems like there's less of a grind on the server which is definitely nice although again we haven't got too much into the you know more fervor end game but again overall economy seems pretty good i think it definitely use a couple tweaking here and there i guess script wise everything seems pretty clean again besides like the horses and some of the weapon stuff i think a lot of it seems pretty nice um again we haven't had a chance to mess with everything yet something in my opinion that i think could liven everything up is honestly boosting the population of the locals and the wildlife again seeing no wildlife going on pretty much my whole journey around the county made the server feel a lot i guess more alone if that makes sense in a sense or two you just don't really feel like you're in a living world it feels like you're kind of just going through a landscape um if that makes any sense to you hopefully it does just having those small animals and small locals just around every once in a while really does add a lot you don't notice it till they're not there but uh i think that's gonna be pretty much about it again server overall seems like a pretty fun one it seems like they base a lot of their business around the players and it seems like everything's a lot more player run here which is also nice to see also thieves landing is quite the nice place wow it seems like thieves landing is upgraded quite a bit um hello? as i was going around there seemed to be quite a couple different uh, mlos hello Barry. madam oh, i'm not a madam oh sorry is that uh oh my god sorry mr e was Oh my lord, hold on. Uh, what can I address you as? Sorry, you look very confusing to me. No, uh, I'm Zavail. You can call me Zavail. Zavail? Zavail. Zavail? Okay. Oh, Pleasure to meet you. Enough. All right, Zavail. Pleasure to meet you, Zavail. Um, what's your business around here? This is uh, Thieves Land. It's a welcoming community, but, uh, you know, we're riding through. We, uh, you know, we're a little bit, uh, kind of caught off guard there. Oh, I'm just traveling through, just uh, kind of exploring a little bit, a little new to the county. So we're just having a little travel around. My bad if I didn't mean to uh, interrupt or, uh, trace pass on any land. Yeah, oh, that's okay. okay. Let's make sure you go a bit slower through here. All right, mm -hmm. we'll do, we'll do. Sorry about that. I apologize. Let me know. Oh, yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just, uh, careful next time. But, um, yeah, we have kids yeah, running around sometimes. Oh, I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's all right. Well, so, um, you, you know, we're not saying you can't come here, you know, you come here, but, uh, just, oh. don't, just don't want people getting knocked over with a horse and getting killed. No, oh, I got a joke. All righty. So this conversation ended up going on for about 20 minutes was a ton of fun talking to everyone there. Honestly, some really great RPers on the server from pretty much everyone I interact with. I interact with a couple other people off camera, but again, this video is already getting pretty long. So I did want to just speed through this um, and just kind of give you guys an overview based on what they had talked to us about. There's a lot of different businesses around and you're able to get items, obviously a lot more cheaper from people around the town. So for instance, they said they had a wider selection of different rifles and weapons weapons and of course they were quite a bit cheaper than buying them at the gun store which is nice to see it encourages more player interaction uh we just had like a nice talk with them they seem to be some cooler peers that were kind of running thieves landing um i think we actually bought some liquor or a drink or something from someone as well uh, i believe also one of the people here i think it goes by bobby the orphan on the server uh is actually a youtuber i've watched some of his videos or some great videos go check him out i'll put it in the description and on screen for his channel so make sure to go check him out he makes some cool videos as well i've watched a couple of them and they're quite entertaining entertaining but uh either way yeah we just had a nice interaction nice talk of these guys we also got to test out a really cool system on the server. You're able to actually trade with other players and straight up just, you know, put the different items into the trade, dip, put money into the trade. And then, of course, just instantly trade with the person. Again, I'm going to be showing it on screen for you guys, of course, but it's a really, really cool system. I haven't seen that on almost any other server before. Um, on Gold Rush, obviously, it's just the give and such, and you can put stuff on the ground, but you can actually trade with other players. And it's a super clean and just fluid system than what I've seen on pretty much any other server. But... That was pretty much it for that whole interaction. Let's continue with the rest of the video. Honey. All right, I might have to come back sometime. Thank you very much, sir. You stay safe. Bye-bye.
all right so i guess you know as we're ending off the video we got a little bit more of a look at some of the features in the community on the server definitely a cool little place here in Theus landing honestly definitely a cool little vibe the trading system that we just got to check out is absolutely amazing um i don't know why every server doesn't have something like that that's super convenient being able to literally just trade straight up um like that and actually see what the other person's trading you and such and just do it fast like that if you had to trade a bunch of different items for some money definitely a cool system for sure but i think that is going to be about it for now i kind of already gave my opinions on the server overall you know i think it's a good one it is technically i believe still in beta as you can see from the top right once you're actually you know able to see it over there now of course we're running into a bunch of deer as as usual again i might have just got some bad luck with the animals but um yeah definitely definitely a cool server overall uh hopefully you guys enjoyed me kind of taking a look at another server i kind of want to do this some more often get a little bit more of an idea as you guys know when i was on gta i would check out a bunch of servers all the time so i want to start doing the same with red dead getting more into like all the different ones i've mainly just played on gold rush for the last two years or last year and a half or so i think it's gonna be about it for this video if you guys did enjoy and you do want to see more of these videos where we kind of hop onto a new server and kind of just have a fresh look at it check it out as a new player and kind of see where it goes make sure to leave a like if you guys do want to actually see a series with ranch let me know as well although we're pretty invested into the gold rush one so we'll have to see but either way i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did as always make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video